Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is the chapter 5th of Build a REST API with Golang, uh, Gorilla and MongoDB. So this is, so in this chapter we are going to create a Gorilla API layer. So let's get started. So once you are in the project, uh, create a new file called .env. So we are going to use environment variables for our project. So there are going to be three environment variables. So one is our Mongo URL, which is our connection string. Uh, DB name which is company DB and collection name which is uh, employee so just save it and here uh, change the mongo URI of uh, with with a connection string of yours let's first set up the mongo connection we are going to keep the mongo client variable as a global variable initiate the uh, mongo connection we are going to use the inbuilt function in it so whenever our application will start this is the first function which will start so first we are going to load the environment variables and then we are going to create the mongo, uh, mongo client so go.env is the package which we uh, installed uh, which is going to read the .env file in our main project and then uh, we don't have to uh, specify the .env file name by default it takes the .env then we just will check the error so once our env file is loaded then we are going to create the connection so we are going to use mongo and dot connect and the context and simple option dot client apply uri and here we are going to read our environment variable so to read the environment variable we are going to use the package called os os dot get env and the environment variable name which is mongo underscore uri So here we are so it's going to return two things uh, mongo client and the error so the mongo client we are going to keep it in our mongo client so once our connection is done then we are going to check if we are able to uh, ping the mongo client or not so mongo connect uh, only just tells like if uh, the connection string is correct or not kind of things but uh, when we call the mongo ping that time we are sending a request to the mongo client So at this stage, suppose if you are unable to ping uh, your Mongo instance, so you have to check for uh, errors like suppose maybe your uh, IP address is not whitelisted or you don't have the or the uh, the password is incorrect. So if you don't get any error, that means our connection is successful. So now our connection is created. So we have to do one thing is like before we'll exit the uh, our application we should uh, disconnect also else that connection will open for a certain time so which is not good. So what we can do is like we can uh, use the function called defer. Let's create the router and serve it. So for that we are going to use mods on new router. So let us create a health handler uh, which will just tell if server is running or not. So for that we are going to use handle func and all health and suppose health handler. So this health handler is going to be of type uh, get and for that we are going to use this methods http dot method get. So this health handler is going to accept one response writer and uh, http.request 
and it will just return the header as a status okay and a simple message called running so let's serve the router using http dot listen and serve so the first argument will take the port so it's going to be double four double four and the router which we just initiated at line number 46 and let's just log the message as like server is running at double four double so open two terminals and run go run main dot go in one so it will run the server at double four double four and in the another we just search for curl localhost colon double four double four health and our server is running so now let's just create let's create the api layer so for that what we can do is like uh, under use case create a file called invite.co and here we are going to create a service of uh, employee service which going to keep the move collection uh, connection and uh, it going to have all the handlers uh, with respect to employee so let's create the employee service uh, struct and it going to have a mongo collection as its field and uh, uh, the response which we are going to send is going to be a response type and it going to send two things simply uh, our data of interface type and uh, an error if there is any of the string type so we we'll just add tag so let's first handler going to be create employee or uh, get employee by id the second handler then let's remove the handler then get all employee uh, update employee by id delete employee by id and delete all employee which we are going to use uh, so these are the api signature you can see uh, so in our main dot go what we are going to do we are going to call them so before that we have to create an employee service so this employee service will uh, get one collection uh, mongo collection so let's first create that so mongo client dot database so here we are going to read our env so it is going to be os.getenv and uh, db underscore name and we are going to call the collection uh, os.getenv collection underscore name okay so uh, let's create our env service uh, use case So we are going to call our employee service dot create employee. It's going to be of type post. So we can assign the methods of HTTP dot method post. Okay. So in the same way, we are going to create for other things. So get employee by ID. So instead of passing it as a query, what we can do is like we can pass the employee ID in the parameter uh, in this way, and its ID is going to be ID. So what we are going to do is like we are going to read this URL, then we'll read this request and we'll search for this ID in the in the in the route. In the service dot get employee by ID going to be methods method get so for get all employee what we are doing is like we'll just skip the id part and we're just going to call over get all that's it uh, so for update it's going to be the same 
update employee by id the method which we are going to use is like method put okay and for delete uh, we are going to use the id and the function going to be delete employee by id and the method is going to be delete and the same thing for delete all uh, just skip the id part and delete all that's it so yeah so we have created all of our uh, handlers of create employee get employee and all those things and we have created their signatures so in the next video we are going to just implement all these uh, uh, apf signatures and it's going to call the our repository layer so i, I hope you like this lecture i'll see you in the next video thanks